Hello everyone, I am Arun Kumar. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Need You. In this particular video lecturing series, I'll be focusing on chapter number one of NCRT Biology, that is the living world. And in this particular video session, I'll be discussing about the properties of life. Before we discuss about the properties of life, I just want to give you an idea about the concept that you are going to learn in this particular chapter. So let us see the concepts first. Properties of life, here you are going to learn about growth, reproduction, metabolism, consciousness and cellular organization. Then taxonomy, the four basic elements of taxonomy, then systematics. Next, binomial nomenclature, the universal rules of binomial nomenclature, scientific names of different organisms, then SAT, yes, synonyms, autonyms, and T, totonyms. ICN, International Code of Nomenclature, here you study ICBN, ICZN, ICNB, ICNCP, ICTV, ICVCN. Next, we are going to study about the taxonomic hierarchy, here we study Species, genus, family, order, class, phylum, kingdom, then the suffixes of plant kingdom as well as animal kingdom. Okay, I'll make you understand this. Then Ernst Mayer's famous biological concept of species. Next, taxonomic aids in this herbarium, museum, botanical garden, zoological park, and the five important books which comes under taxonomic aids that is key, flora, manuals, monograph and catalog. So let us discuss about the properties of life. Why uh, planet earth is so unique among other planets? Earth is so special because it is the only planet which has a liquid water and it has got its own atmosphere, it has oxygen, the life gas and it is the only planet where life exists and all living organisms are intelligent. Now I, I have a question that what is exactly life or what is the meaning of uh, living or how do you differentiate between a life and a non-living thing? See, all living organisms share common characters uh, like uh, let us say growth, reproduction, uh, metabolism, cellular organization, consciousness, adaptation, locomotion, whereas uh, non-living things don't exhibit any of these features except growth. Growth in non-living thing is by accumulating materials on its surface. In life, growth is from inside. 